Hello, you are listening to the Omnitalk Fast Five, brought to you in partnership with the A&M Consumer and Retail Group, Firework, SPS Commerce, and Sezzle. Headline number one is that Walmart plans to double its health center format by 2024. That's next year. So according to Chain Store Age, it plans to open 28 new Walmart health centers next year, giving it a total of more than 75 locations by the end of 2024. The expansion will increase Walmart's health sorry, Walmart Health's footprint into new two new states, Missouri and Arizona, and also deepen it in Texas, specifically within the Dallas metro area and also in Houston. Yes. The new facilities will be approximately 5,750 square feet and located beside Walmart super centers and will feature a full suite of health services. The services will likely vary by location, but include primary care, labs, x-ray, and EKG behavioral health, dental, hearing, dental. select specialty services, community health, and telehealth. Walmart debuted its freestanding health center concept in 2019, and currently there are 32 Walmart health locations open across Arkansas, Florida, Georgia, Illinois, and Texas. Did you know there were that many? I I wasn't aware there were that many. I didn't either. But as we will, as we will discuss in this headline, like there's a lot of things going on at Walmart that I just don't think we even know about yeah. that that contribute to this bigger idea. Yeah. But what what are your thoughts on this, Chris? I've been just more growing more and more impressed with Walmart with each and every passing week here, and especially Doug McMillan and his leadership. But you know, my big takeaway is lots of moves in the retail healthcare space this weekend. Oh, for lots sure. of them. So you've got this one just to call attention for our listeners. You got this one, and then you also had Best Buy working with Atrium. Yes. On in-home hospital installations, which I think is a great move. Yeah. But I love this move by Walmart. And there's two things that stand out to me. One, how fast they're growing the concept. Right. Because, and I've said this before on the show, and it got me in trouble once. I won't say why, but I think it's really important. The Ooh. speed at which a retailer rolls out something tells you how much they are behind it. Right. And how big of an impact they think the idea could have. That's very important to keep in mind as it's going to come up later in the show, I think, as well. The second thing that struck me in what you just read is the size of these operations Mm -hmm. and where they are. Okay. So they're only 6,000 square feet. Right. So that's an easy build. Mm -hmm. And they're placing them right in the parking lot. Like it's similar, like a standalone gas station concept at a Walmart. It's mm-hmm. no different than that. So, so they can put these anywhere and they can build them out as quick as they want. And it's telling me that Walmart is doing a great job when you think about it in that context of being the get stuff done in my life place to go. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, back when we were working on Store of the Future, Chris, we, you know, it, there was this yeah. idea and Walmart was talking about it, Target was talking about it. Like, how do you become the town center? Walmart with almost 5,000 locations uniquely positioned to do this. And I was talking to Seth Malley behind stage before mm-hmm. we went on just about like, I didn't realize you that Walmart was rolling out its own su- like standalone con- uh, convenience and gas stores. Right. And they're doing that. Some, you know, a lot of them are again in the Walmart parking lot. And I think when you start to think about all those Walmart locations and then just kind of building upon the the parking lot options Adding these healthcare centers is a great, great thing for the community to be able to use when 100%. they're going to, you know, and then picking up any drugs or anything they need afterward or, you know, food items or grocery. Like it's it's one quick trip. And then I think the other thing that I bring in here, too, is, you know, talking to Chris Duncan a couple of weeks ago at Etail from Claire's about them going into Walmart and they're just renting space inside the Walmart right. they're leasing space just like a mall so i think the more that you're adding into this i think is is so valuable to the consumer to be that one stop shop and to to really make Walmart like the center of the community which is a, a thing that i think they've been wanting to do for quite a long time so yeah, right. i love this idea right doctor doctor give me the news i got a bad case why? of i don't know why it's do just you feel like doctor doctor so the other point i'd make Doanne, real quick yeah Best Buy. Let's go back to that for a yeah, second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Best Buy's move is great because it shows the same trend here, but they're continuing to differentiate in the same way against Walmart that they have traditionally. So Walmart going with the the standalone health center idea. Yep. But but Best Buy saying, you know what, we're gonna win on the services angle right. and get these help you get these in home hospitals set up. Right. Similar to how you set up your your like man caves, you yep. know, same idea. So brilliant move from them.